welcome back to another part of this series where we decoding the tree of life, the anchor, the bag that God's holding, and of course the Great Giza Pyramid which we will talk about in the next video. But before we speak about the Great Giza Pyramid, which is very important, I wanted to continue with the anchor, the coding of the anchor, which nobody till now, none of the historians were able to guess where, what it could be or what it represents. And of course, I mean, obviously it doesn't represent much unless you understand what really it truly meant in relationship with its, uh, to the tree of life. And since nobody was able to decode the tree of life, so the normal or logical uh, consequence is that nobody will be able to decode what is this thing that the gods, so-called gods, holding in their hand or the bucket. But I mean, one thing the historian got correctly about that those two things, they do have in, things in common and we will prove it by numbers. So let's start by rem reminding ourselves about what we have talked so far about. We talked about the name of the Pharaoh and the Ramses when you sum them up, which each consists of five letters in the Arabic alphabet. When you sum their numbers, their corresponding numbers in the abject, what we got? 73. How many 73s did we get last time from the Tree of Life? Five 73s. And the European Space Agency, with their title saying that the, the scientist has found the key of universe in number 73. And then later on, we continue to talk about how we were able to get this shape, this symbol, the tree of life with all the numbers that is in. And we sp spoke a little bit about how the pharaohs in their process of trying to um, reach the immortality, they tried to unlock the lock in the fabric of the universe to get to the powers of B, the power of B, the God, the, to reach that immortality and to use that energy for their own good. As we mentioned before, in the verses, uh, in some of the chapters in the Quran, the first verses start with letters. Those letters basically mean nothing if you read them as one word, but they are like kind of a, a mystery that was waiting to be decoded. One of the, those was Hami Ma'in Sin Kaf, which we get from the Tree of Life. Today we're gonna try to decode the Anka from Ta Sin Mim. I need to remind you that while I was trying to decode those broken letters, what we call it al mukatta in Arabic, I was never intentionally trying to decode the tree of life or the anchor or the pyramid ever. It just was there. So one of these verses, it starts with one of the, uh, ta sin mim. So basically the, here we have three letters, ta sin mim. With their alf, abject uh, number, it's here 9, 15, 13. We mentioned earlier about that while we were trying to decode those letter, those words or broken letters, we only, we follow one rule, that we only use the numbers in those group. And number two, which is, it's very important as we're gonna see later on in the pyramids, and also as you see, it's in the top of the tree of life. So we start with nine, we already have nine, we add two, we get 11. 11, we take the product, and here we add plus two, we get what? The second number. And then we add two, what we got? 15. So what we did as for the tree of life, we take this equation, we represent them, in a symbol that is not by coincidence that I made it up like that. 
so each circle a number and line are actually a representation of what we got as an index equation so basically for an example 15 is the result of 2 and 13 right so we have those two lines coming up from these two circles and intersecting here for example 13 is the result of 2 plus 11 so 2 plus 11 we have 13 2 9 11 2 9 11 so that's what we get if we do remember last time we talked about the tree of life that it has the codes which is the key is 73 right from if you sum 2 15 16 21 19 keep it in there now that's the key in in the tree of life and that's we said the lock right and so if we hold on to this thought and come back here what are we having in here? We actually have in a symbol that resembles the anchor. And what's the name of this anchor they call it? They call it the key of what life. So if we have a tree of life, how you will unlock it? By a key. And what's that? The key of life. So we have tree of life and here we have the what? The key of life. So how this is represented in here? Well, simply if we look closely, we will find that if we sum the inner uh, triangles in here, how much we get for the first one? 15, 13 plus 2, what we get? 30. How much for this one? 26. I want to just, one second please. Uh, I don't want to mix you up with the information, so I'm going to do it in blue. 26. How about this triangle? How much we got in here? 22. How about this one? What we got? 33. Now, some 30 plus 26 plus 22 plus 33, what do you, what do you got here? You're getting, yep, yeah, 111. That's a very important number. We'll talk why it is that important. Now, this is the result of what? The equation that we derive from Tasi Mim. So, what if we just simply took these number and summed them up? How much we are getting? We are getting 9 plus 15 plus 13 is equal to what? 37. Hmm. What about 37 if we multiply it by 3? 111. Is that any coincidence? No. Hold on a second. Now, let's go back here. Here, this tree of life is consists of sephirots. These circles are called sephirots. Each sephirot, it has a different name. In the Jewish Kabbalah. Now this is the Malakut. Malakut. And this is another has another name and so on. What differentiates this this part from this is that here is the physical world and that serve as a transmitter transmitter to the physical world so basically this is actually to collect all the spiritual things that's going on in here and transmit it to the what to the physical so you have this is separate in nature from the upper one the lower is to the physical the upper one is the spiritual now what if and here I want you to focus on something. And don't forget the number 111. Now what if I come here, I divide this tree of life and look up and sum those sephirots. How much I'm getting in here? I'm going to give you one, two, three seconds. Okay, I'm just going to give you the number. 
we are getting 111. Now, if you look, what, wait a minute, you say, here I have 111, and from here, from this symbol, I'm getting also 111, and by simply, this, this is the result of the equation, I just need to remind you, and just by simply summing those letters together and multiplying them by 1, 2, 3, I'm getting what? 111. Now, how does this correlate? Look, now, you see this is the anchor, right? That the gods used in, in Pharaoh ancient uh, Egyptian holding. How about the bag? The, the, the scientists, they call like there is some kind of similarity that the gods always holding something in their hand. Now, look at this shape again. What are you seeing? Well, I already drew it here. I'm going to draw it again. I just want you to focus with me. So, what if I do this? And do this? And I do this? This is, seems like the, the holder, right? And I have here the box, right? What I'm having here? <laughs> I am having a bag that equals to what? 111. I'm having an anchor that equals to what? 111. So basically, that's the key of life and the bag is basically the same thing. And actually, this is the decoder of the tree of life. The lock the key to unlock it if you ask me like then how i'm gonna tell you something now we remember from last time we said that the pharaoh tried to reach to the immortality and to reach to the immortality i'm gonna just one second I'm just gonna like take this one out i just want to make things a bit clearer for you in here so, to reach to the, the source of power, to gain the immortality, the ultimate, the infinite energy, they needed to decode it. And so, if we look again here, and I sum 30 plus 26 plus 22, how much I'm getting? I'm getting... 78 78 remember this number look at this box what I'm getting in here 52 plus 26 how much it is it is 78 so basically this box it's equal to what 78 and how about this It's what? It's 33. So basically, 30, 33 plus 78, I'm getting what? The 111. So part of this anchor is working as a, the unlocker to, to what? To the tree of life. And so when you unlock this part, what are you getting? You're getting here. And you're already in here. So 33 plus 21 plus 19, what you're getting? The 73. Which is what? The key of universe. And by which the Ramses and the Pharaoh names was chosen upon now in the next videos i'm not finished here yet in the next videos i'm gonna talk about the pyramids and how it fits exactly to this box with its total amount of 78 so the pyramids 
it will serve a locker to the fabric of universe to get you to the ultimate power so how this uh, correlate with the verses that is mentioned in the Quran about this subject so Tasin Mim is coming uh, in a Surat Ash-Shu'ara in Quran and it starts with like this Tasin Mim these are the verses of the clarifying book perhaps you will destroy yourself with grief because they do not come become believers look focus here if we will we can send upon them a sign from heaven at which their necks will their necks will stay bent in humility no fresh reminder come to them from the most merciful but they turn their backs at it they have denied the truth but soon will come to them the news of what they have ridiculed now here the verse number seven have they not seen the earth and how many beautiful pearls we have produced therein if you look at how the Sumerians pictured God holding a seed of life this seed of life God is talking about what and how many beautiful pearls we produced therein pearls and you tell me like okay so how this does this all relate to the Anka or the tree of life I'll tell you hold on a second this symbol I represented in here just to make it uh, more uh, visible uh, for the viewers now we talked about that this part is equal to what 111 one two three if you look at the Kabbalahs what did we tell you that this is this column this is this tree of the life it's divided into three and it has the female and the male column it has three pillars the female at the right and the male at the left and God was, was talking about Tasimim in the f first verse, in the seventh verse. Have they not seen the earth and how many beautiful pearls we have produced therein? The pearls, it's, it's a female and a male. And it fits exactly to our decoding of the tree of life with 111, 1, 1, 1. And not only that, look at the top of the tree. It's two, two, male and female, and that's the bag. So that's the bag which is in here from Tasin Mim. We get the hundred eleven, and in the other verse, God talk about it to even confirm it further. This is what they are talking about. Beautiful pearls we have produced therein. So just to summarize, what we have in here is a verse that we from which we were able to decode the key of life that from its equations we got 111 and even from its own letters we got 111 by uh, 30, 37 multiplied by 3 which also equal to the spiritual part of the tree of life which is also equal 111 which when you read the verses in the Quran that talk about 111 and the subject of how God have created beautiful pearls which produce therein which also fits from that to the bag and to the concept of the female and male pillars in the tree of life and of course without forgetting that the head of the tree of life it's what number two it's about pearls pairs to female and male 
And now historians can finally understand what these had represented all along, what the Anka had represented all along, and of course, the Kabbalah can finally understand what is the decoded, what's the, what is the tree of life and its decoding, which they thought if someone would try to decode it, maybe he would go crazy and would never be able to do so. But if they took it a little bit of time to read the Quran, probably they would have been able to solve it by now. But Anyway, this is an open invitation for everybody to read the Quran because the amazing, wonderful thing there is in it's just mind blowing. It was a beautiful journey trying to go to all that. And I promise you, the next video will be even more and more interesting to finally understand why the pyramids were built by numbers, by frequencies, and how it fits all to the tree of life and much more. I just want to give a hint here that that is not a god, but like every knowledge, some of the uh, civil, uh, ancient civilization, they took the knowledge of God and unfortunately twisted into a pagan worshipping. So till next time, we say goodbye for, for now and please stay tuned. Have a good day.